James Foster joins us at the, in the indoor school at Essex, ahead uh, of the new season. James, an exciting time, I guess, for Essex cricket. A bit of a new look squad this year. Very much so. No, it's um, signed some really good uh, new players this winter. Obviously, with the recent signing of Ira Peterson, for the first two months of the season is going to, you know, it's given us a real boost. Um, so we're very excited. Guys are training very hard. Um, and it's quite a nice culture to be around. Yes, indeed. And uh, I guess all counties probably say they target success in all competitions, but um, realistically, is it fair to say we underachieved last year and perhaps we just want to address that problem that uh, of unfulfilled, uh, if you like, uh, results from last season? Yeah, without doubt we underperformed. Um, you know, we played some good cricket at times, but... You know, consistency is what it's all about, and we weren't consistent. We weren't good enough, and we all know that. And it's you know that's hence the reason why guys have been training hard this winter. A lot of guys have gone away. The guys who've been in England have stayed here and worked hard with Paul Grayson and Matt Walker and Chris Silverwood, and it's, it's been good. But ultimately, you know, you can train as hard as you like, but it's about producing the goods out there in the middle. And uh, the first game is you know not it's it's not long. It's really not. And um, you want to get off to a good start, obviously. But if we don't. It's important that we hang in there and keep believing. Indeed, and you mentioned uh, some of the experienced signings, but we've also got a lot of uh, young talent coming through, haven't we? The latest one seems to be uh, Ben Folks, and last season Reese Topley and Tamal Mills, if you like, came from nowhere. Adam Wheater, I suppose, who established himself in the side as a batsman. Uh, mentioning Ben and Adam, both wicket keepers, of course, so uh, keeps the old boy on his uh, toes a bit. Yeah, I mean, geez, I mean, the stocks are looking really good. You know, I think there's a lot of competition in all areas, which is what it's all about. And um, we've got Tom Craddock in there as well. Um, you know we're, we're excited, you know, and uh, but you can't get over excited. You know, people talk about promotion or winning one-day trophies. Yeah, sure, we want to do that, but I like to try and keep it a bit simpler. You just want to try and win every game you play, and, and not really look any further than that. Indeed, and um, well, I think one thing we have had over the recent years at Chelmsford is some. Uh, wickets that uh, encourage results uh, can we expect those as well I mean perhaps it's been to the detriment of batsmen a little bit but um, you know there has been some uh, interesting cricket yeah the wickets have probably been a bit fruity you know it's haven't been um, normal I guess chumps of wickets uh, it's been hard work especially last year it was hard work with the tie flex ball swinging around nipping around it was difficult but you know it's the same for both sides you know let's not you know, hide behind that uh, but we just weren't good enough we didn't do the basics well enough I guess as a batting unit at times, guys got in and got out softly. And um, obviously a few good balls thrown in there as well. But, you know, it's just hard work. Um, got to work on ourselves mentally as well as your techniques. And hopefully it will all come good. Yes, indeed. And uh, eight matches in the first two months of the season in the Championship. So important to uh, really get off to a flying start if we really want to make a significant impression at the end of the season. Yeah, same as last year. You know, it's a, a tough two, two months. Um, yeah, you want to get off to a good start, but there's no guarantee. And um, you, know, you can do all the team meetings, all the debriefs, etc., etc., in the world, but you've got to produce the goods. And but if we don't in those first couple of games, you've got to regroup because you can't afford to let the first two months pass you by because then you you really are playing catch up. James, wish you and the boys all the best for the season. Cheers.